What is up guys, 70 Savage here, bringing you another video. Today we are gonna be installing a Max Air Fan on the roof of our Sprinter van. Uh, I chose the Max Air Fan because of it's the way that it's designed in that uh, the lid can be open and closed whether or not it's raining and rain won't penetrate into the van. Um, this is important to me because I'm living in the van full time and if it's raining outside I still want to have some air flow through the van. Um, also it has a bit more of an aerodynamic design than some of the other options I've seen. Uh, so you know less drag while you're driving is always great. Um, we're going to take you through step by step and let's go ahead and get into it. All right so before you even start the project you want to hang up a uh, metal shaving catching tarp thing. Uh, I just bought some plastic sheeting from the hardware store, cut it to size, and hung it uh, like a hammock between both sides. All right, so I bought a uh, fan mount specifically designed for the Sprinter. It has a little bit of recessed sides underneath uh, where these ribs go, and a slight recessed piece of plastic in the back here, just so that you can get a flush mount for your Max Air Fan. Um, this mount was relatively expensive for what it is, it looks 60 bucks, but I think it's worth it to get a uh, install that has a lot less flex in the fan itself. Alright, so after checking the size of the blade on my jigsaw, this is the size drill bit that I'm going to end up needing uh, to drill through here. So what I'm going to do is put the, the drill bit in the corner and twirl it around a little bit to get a little bit of a mark of where I need to put the center punch uh, to get the drilling started with a smaller bit in each corner. I'm just going to around one corner, about one corner. Kind of give myself a mark there. All right, so even though we're going to end up going with this big old bit um, so that the jigsaw blade can fit into the pocket, uh, we're going to start with a smaller bit just to have a little bit less resistance getting through the metal the first time and we're going to work our way up to the big boy. As you can see I've taped around the edges where the uh, foot of the jigsaw is going to be touching the paint. So we've got our hole cut out successfully. Uh, pretty good on the edges here. Turned out as good as I could have hoped. Let's take off the tape. All right, before we go any further and actually uh, rust protect the edges, I wanna do a quick test fit. Got that piece and then the flange. Comes over the top like this. And if you ask me, it's pretty good. All right, so now we are taking our Rust-Oleum and we are applying it to the edge of this cut. Uh, I got the same color Rust-Oleum as the paint on the truck here, so um, that's pretty cool. It's really hard to notice. In case I do mess up, it's gonna be uh, not, not nearly as bad as if it was a completely different color, so. Yeah, pretty straightforward, just putting it on the edges. So I've taped around the mounting bracket, uh, just placing it down so that I can go through and scuff the paint a little bit with a Scotch-Brite pad here. This is so that the adhesive that mounts the bracket to the roof um, can stick better to the car. The instructions on the mounting bracket uh, said to use this window weld um, 3M stuff and put a small bead around the outside of the bottom of the bracket um, and then you can just stick it to the roof of the car and uh, it seals pretty quick.
Alright, now it's time to put a layer of butyl tape around the uh, bottom of the fan mount. And now, drill in more holes into the van. First uh, boneheaded mistake of the van build here. When I drilled these pilot holes, I used the same size diameter as this screw, which is supposed to go in this hole. Uh, this came like with the package with the Max Air Fan. Um, unfortunately, if you drill the same size pilot hole, there's nothing for the teeth to grip onto. So that was pretty dumb. Um, I just had to go to the hardware store and buy these screws that had a little bit wider of a diameter and I'm gonna install those black ones, the little bit thicker ones now. All right, so we've got our Dicor lap sealant. Let's get cracking. Cool, so this is what she came out looking like. Give you a little overview of what the sealant job looks like here. Looks decent. We will see if it prevents water from getting in there. All right, we got the fan installed. We got my little brother with a hose. We're gonna go ahead and test this, uh, the whole penetration test. All right, let her rip. Like a lot some more. Don't forget the final step: taking off the seal. Shiggity, diggity. All right guys, so um, now that the fan install is complete, I just wanted to go over kind of my general thoughts and learnings from installing the fan. Um, since it is the thing that people typically do first uh, in their van conversion, it's not the easiest thing that could possibly be done. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Uh, working with a jigsaw and metal is something that you should definitely practice with before you start cutting into your own van. I made a couple of mistakes. Thankfully, uh, they weren't too bad and I can just patch them up with a little bit of rust proof paint. Um, but I would definitely recommend getting a piece of sheet metal, like super thin steel, resembling the top of your roof and practicing on that just real quick to get a feel for the jigsaw and how that works with metal. Um, also, there's just a bunch of different adhesives you have to use if you get the, uh, the mounting bracket off eBay like I did. I highly recommend the mounting bracket, but you know, there's another ad adhesive you have to get to make sure that thing welds correctly to the top of the van. So um, be prepared for it to take longer than you think it would. Overall, I'd say the fan install takes two to three days. 
um, just because you have to wait for different layers of adhesives to dry, different the rust proofing paint to dry. Um, and the skill level is definitely more towards like a medium high rather than really easy. Um, so just be prepared for what you're getting into. Practice a little bit if you've never used a jigsaw before um, and don't get too down on yourself, right? It, it's not gonna be perfect if you're doing this and if you're learning, uh, treat it as a learning experience and um, do the best with the tools that you have. Um, all in all, I promise you, if you're motivated, you will come to a good solution. So uh, I'm pretty stoked with how, how this fan came out. It's waterproof, everything works as expected. Um, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video and I will see you next time.